here's a good theme for these days when the world, as usual, is blowing apart. It's called Poets Against Death. It's about Nikonor Para, who was or is a poet from Chile, uh, who wrote Antipoesia, the Antipoems, New Directions, published four or five of his books. I read with him in many places, and he read terribly. He said, Willis, you read better than I do. That's fine, you wrote better than I do. <laughs> and he's a marvelous poet. Anyway, you, I need not say much about him because I think the poem itself does. But I will tell you a hugely important anecdote. People think when the situation gets bad in a country that you should not go there and leave it. But the truth is it's the people who stay and make the changes, like those who stayed in Greece and finally got rid of the military dictatorship. It's those in Chile who stayed, not those who had to leave, but those who stayed and finally got rid of, of Pinochet. Well, Nicanor Pada was a very famous poet. His sister, I can't remember who wrote that famous song. Uh, Gracias a la vida. Gracias a la vida. One of the most beautiful songs in Latin America. And he was a professor of, uh, of, of astrophysics. He had studied at Brown, where he also taught, and he had got a degree from Cambridge, a PhD. Now, maybe he's the only well-known astrophysics poet, other than Einstein, whose every thought and words were poetry. But Nicanor decided to read. He was criticized terribly for not uh, leaving Chile for teaching at the university, which was controlled by the thugs. But on the contrary, it was those people who stayed on at the universities in Greece, in Spain, wherever they were, so the students would not be obliterated by terrible ideas. Now, he was the only person in Chile, because of his fame, who could sit outside the door of the main cathedral in Santiago, capital of Chile, and read poems and sing and have a sign over his head, I am reading for the benefit of the persecuted artists of Chile. And he read. Now, his book came out with New Directions, a new book. And what's the name of the woman poet uh, who wore the big hats? Not Marianne Moore, but very socially minded Kiki. Muriel Rukeyser. Muriel Rukeyser said she loved the poems of Nicanor Pada. She just regretted that he was a collaborator to stay in the university mm. and read there. Well, I wrote a letter to the New York Times and said approximately what I've just told you now. And I wrote that and Muriel Rukeyser said, I'm so grateful to be informed that I was misinformed. Mm. <laughs> Sincerely, Muriel Rukeyser. With me and Willie. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think the audience is speaking. <laughs> Okay, Dad, read the poem now. Here comes oh, the yeah. fireworks. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Poets Against Death. The Chilean poet Nicanor Pada read Dunn's line, Death Be Not Proud, at Brown. That's why he became a poet. He earned his bread in astrophysics, gazing from star to sigh in antipoems. 101, the wonderful Nicanor eludes gross death in a desert town in northern Chile. Einstein cannot spin time the way, sorry, 
I'll start again. You can edit. Maybe someday someone will. Einstein cannot spin time the other way, yet Machado set his watch 24 hours back and walks all night and saves a day. Dunn said, one short sleep and death will be no more. Our NRA loves death, and so they wreathe each golden bullet. I cannot turn around.